friends, let's believe and pray. Therefore, and I share the word of God shortly with you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you for this moment as I'm going to share the word of God with your people. Lord, may you use me as a vessel and also use them as a vessel to spread the word of God in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. The Bible says in the book of um, uh, Philippians, that is um, chapter number 4, verse 6, the Bible says, in, in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Praise the name of Jesus. That is the word of God. In nothing be anxious. But in everything be in prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. Be in prayer. In every circumstances, be in prayer. In every situation, be in prayer. In whatever you do, be in prayer. In where you are, be in prayer. Right now, be in prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. Therefore, it continues and says, and petition petitions with thanksgiving let your request be made unto god not unto people the bible says very clear let your request be made unto god some people their request is to people is to the fellow friends their request is to know about a fellow friend their request is how will a friend help me even if you tell them about god they'll not they'll not go with that one they'll know that their mind has already clocked that their help comes from people, not from God. Now, here the Bible says, let your help be known unto God. Let your need, take it to God. Take your need, direct your need to God. When you, directed your, when you direct your need to God, you will not be disappointed. God loves you and God wants you to expect from him alone. When you expect from God, you will never be disappointed. When you expect from God, you will never be in a situation where you feel like you are nothing. When you expect on God, therefore it means that you go correct. You are on the move with God. The Bible says again in the book of uh, Romans chapter number 8 verses 26 to 27 it says this way, moreover in like manner, the Spirit also join in to help us in our wickedness. For we do not know for what we should pray as is fitting. But the Spirit himself intercede for us with groanings. Praise the name of you, with can, which cannot be uttered. Praise the name of you. Therefore, it continues again, verses 27. But he who searches the heart knows what the mind of the spirit is, because he intercedes for the saint according to God. Praise the name of you. Therefore, your trust should be on God. Your trust should be focused on Christ. When you focus on Christ, you will not be down somewhere, but you will succeed because your faith is on God, your trust in God is on God, therefore you become a hero. You become someone who is of God. In Jesus' mighty name, I say, Amen. Amen. Shalom, shalom, peace of God be with you. Therefore, I want us to pray. Therefore, God will go before us. Jehovah, I thank you for the word of today. Don't teach us to know you. Teach us to draw closer to you. Teach us to dwell in you. Teach us to recognize you. Teach us to love you more and put our need unto you. Lord, I thank you for this word you have brought unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. My friend, you have prayed that prayer. I want you to know this, that God loves you. I want you to know this again, that God will never leave you. Therefore, I believe that if you are not born again, you will pray with me here and God will forgive you. I want you to repeat this word after me. Father, I come before you. I am a sinner. I've sinned against you. Lord, forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. Remove my name in the book of darkness. Today, Lord, I want to walk with you. Thank you, Lord, for your salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. My friend, if you have prayed that prayer, let's believe and pray. Father, thank you for the person who have prayed. May you quicken their needs. Lord, thank you for answering them. Thank you for restoring them back. Thank you, Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. My friend, shalom, peace of God be with you. And let me leave you with this and tell you again in the same, same scripture.
that the Bible says this way. I love repeating because I love um, following what is happening in our life. And the Bible says again in the book of Philippians, that is chapter 4, verse 16, verse 6, it says this way, listen, in nothing be anxious, I repeat it again, but in everything be in prayer. I live there, be in prayer in everything. Submit your situation to Christ. When you submit your situation to Christ, you will never regret. Be person who draw closer to God and he will never disappoint you in Jesus' mighty name. God be with you in the name of Jesus.